Hello, and thank you for watching. This is the TF cast. Willis isn't here this week. It's June 29th here in the solarium. Uh, and I am Zach. And I'm your host, Jacob Bases. Today with us, we have Laura of Bee Balm Fields to introduce her new album. But I think today we're going to kick it off with something a little bit different. Laura, could you give us a tune? Sure. Well, I'm going to just keep going on that. That little intro was from Take Me to the Sea. Take me to the sea Where nothing surrounds me Take me in, take me in the That was really fun. That was it was fun to do that for a nice intro. Um, this is uh, your second time on the show. Second. Um, um, second. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it, it it's actually really funny. I, I didn't I didn't know that you were, had an upcoming album until we had asked you to come on the show again. And you said, "Well, I'm not sure what I would talk about. I have a new album coming." But um, <laughs> yeah, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> just, just like the thing, you know. <laughs> but. Uh, <sighs> How, how long has it been in the works? Like, you know, what, what's been going on? Uh, so the new album uh, that we're working on with Adam Tucker, uh, we worked with him with our last album, Thin Skin, if you've listened to that one. Um, we started first recording at the beginning of June, and we went in and we just uh, spent two days just laying down the bones, the bones of the track, you know. Uh, we did live, live studio takes, and then uh, we went in again and uh, put a little of Pete's magic, Pete Klug's magic in, and uh, fixed a couple words on my end. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we just, uh, a couple more things to do, but honestly, uh, yeah, it's almost ready, the album. 
So what has the writing process been like? Is this something you get done in practice or performance or like, how, how do these songs live before they end up on an album? Mm. So all of the songs on this album here, they've been around. If you've been to a B-Bomb show, you're probably going to recognize some songs. Um, they're, maybe you won't recognize a song in that. That'd be cool too. But yeah, we've been performing these songs for the last couple of years. So some of the songs are older and uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to think of just like a song, an example, like the one Into the Sea. So this song's on the album. I wrote that back in 2017. Mm -hmm. And then I would bring the song to the band um, and play it for them and say, hey, I wrote this song. What do you think? And then they do their thing. And then it's like once everybody plays, you almost feel the magic in a song right away. And then by keep playing it, you kind of develop and fine tune it, find out what works in the song over time. I don't know. That's why we're doing it <laughs> this time. Okay. Yes. Um. Yeah. And like a. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, technical difficulties. Um. The. Uh, the uh, can you talk about this the song you just played us a little bit? I I haven't heard that one, and I feel like I have been to bee bomb shows. Mm -hmm. Well, it um, sounds different when you have like the drums and bass and mm -hmm. um, with a song. I feel like everybody's part is just like a part of the song. So almost playing it without them is like I can still hear them in my head. But <laughs> um, so that song I wrote, I was uh, in Oahu in Hawaii and. It's kind of a sad time. I just had a loss, a big loss, and uh, I was like in this really beautiful place, and I was just like done, <laughs> you know, just super sad. It's mm -hmm. like I was looking at the waves and been like, ah, just take me out there to the sea. Just let me. I don't want anything around me, and you know that's kind of how the song starts. <laughs> Any song usually, but. Sure. So. Uh, you <sighs> I'm nervous. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Like, all right, second time. I think I was. I'm more nervous this time. What's going on? Well, you know, it, I don't know. It, we'll blame that, the weather. Everything's just gotten so much bigger. I mean, if, if anyone wants to go back to episode, what was it like, eleven or seven or nine or? I think it's like three. Yeah, I know. It might, what? We might really? Be, it might have been single digits. I remember you were one of the first people. You were the first musical. Actually. Guest. The in, it was pre-COVID. Mm -hmm. It was before. It was in February. Yeah, it was before the world changed. So I, that that's pertinent. Like, like, just give us the 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 band update. You know what what's been what has been up. How did how did Bebom weather that storm and <laughs> like what's on the horizon? Um. Well, I guess we'll rewind back to that February 2020, and I think I talked about all those fun shows that we had planned for the summer. I was talking about even that project with Eric Bundy, the River Rat Ramblers. Oh, yeah. Remember I brought my little guitar yeah. lately, and I was so excited, and then, you know, we didn't do any of that, and <laughs> that's okay. But I think <laughs> everybody learned a little something in that time. As a band, we just kind of held off until we could practice again we probably didn't play with each other for like six weeks a couple months at least um when we finally did start meeting we uh just played outside of our practice space we didn't go inside just because i feel like i remember you, you know, telling me stories about like that everyone was playing in a big circle <laughs> yeah yeah i walked into our uh me and laura have a uh, share a practice space basically and i walked in and they were all in like the garage section as spread out mm -hmm. as far as you could when it was cold outside when it was too cold yeah, to yeah. play outside yeah hmm. yeah and from that it kind of developed um at that time i was playing be uh guitar with b-balm and something in that switch of being in that room i played less and less guitar and i was kind of experimenting with that so that's something that's changed since the last album. I only play one song on the new album. 
I, uh, I love singing in that room. It's one of my favorite things. I've recorded Abby, myself, and a, a couple other people in that room just because... In the garage area? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's hard it's to cool. walk through it without like trying to sing something. <laughs> I bet you'd go, bing bong! Bing bong! Each time you go in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good guess. Huh. Yeah, yeah, it's a good guess. <laughs> Maybe I've heard that before. Or yeah, something. Right, yeah, multiple people probably have heard me just bing bong in mm. through the halls. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, how do you how do you say? Um, are have you been? I f- I feel like I attended a practice post COVID where you were yes. playing keys too. Does that does mm-hmm. that show up at all? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I play a song. Uh, a song on the album, a bike song, it's called the bike song. I don't and know uh, that one, I think. It's kind of I can't wait. I wish I could have you guys listen to some of it, um, but I can't. That's with all the bells, right? There's yeah, it's bells. Your guitar is featured on there. Hey. Pete Klug is playing it, I've, and uh, I've played that with you before. That's you should a fun song. <laughs> ask him about his experience playing your guitar. I, it was. <laughs> it was I, fun. I will have to now. Yes. Was it was it was it an, an issue? <laughs> Kind of, but it worked out. Like it was like a, it was a good issue, you know. Good we worked around it. <laughs> glad, glad to contribute. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So I'm just trying to think. The whole after, you know, the 2020 thing to 20, even now, time's kind of been rolling at a different speed. I feel. I do. I feel like everyone slowed down. I really do. I yeah. feel like now people are like, you know what, like. If I don't want to do it, I'm I'm not mm-hmm. doing that anymore. <laughs> which but. is probably which is probably pretty good for the world. I think everyone mm-hmm. could like slow down and learn something about themselves. Yeah. <laughs> Even if we had to be forced. Wouldn't that wouldn't that be something if we found out instead of like uh some like nefarious government agency like making this all happen, it was actually people who were trying to force self reflection upon us all. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> It's like some monks holed up in a mountain somewhere. I don't know. They're thinking, wow, it kind of worked. (laughs) They're just watching the podcast. (laughs) Um, uh, I wanted to ask just at least briefly about uh, Adam Tucker in his studio. I know you guys have worked with him a lot before. Mm -hmm. Uh, Could you just like talk about the process of working with him and maybe a little about his recording studio? I know uh, Pete specifically loves hanging out there and just geeking out over all the gear and fun stuff he has. Yeah, the thing with Adam is he almost feels like he's uh, another member of B-Balm. He just like fits in. We go there and it's just, I don't know, it just works so well. It's almost scary. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But just uh, so... He did move studio, so that was something that was different from recording this time. Uh, he's now off of Cedar, 3600 in Cedar in Minneapolis. Oh, okay. And that's kind of a cool space. It's uh, close by everything. What's uh, the, what name does he? Signature Tone Recording. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. And I don't know, the process just went smooth. We had, you know, practicing during the pandemic, we decided what songs we were going to put on this album and then just kind of dug in and figured out how we were going to do them. So going into Adams, we had everything figured out. And I think that's why it was not easy, but it was easier. (laughs) Do you think uh, having the bunhole uh, helped you guys be able to like uh, flesh out these songs more and maybe write them faster and like try a bunch of new things? Because you were, did it make it easier to like get together and Mm -hmm. write all this new stuff? Well, you mean our b-hole. Oh, yeah. The bun hole is my space. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I, bun has the bun hole. And yeah. We have the b the e hole. Yep. hole. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's been something. Um, it's We've always had a space as b-bomb. We've been practicing in the vault, which is in that Chestnut Square building. We've been there s- six years, five, six years. And uh, so have, having just a space where you can regularly meet up once a week. Mm-hmm. But going and getting our own room and not sharing with other bands, it's been nice that we can just keep all of our things set up and yeah. we just get to go plug in and go. Don't got to check if someone else is there. Mm-hmm. And I have a small apartment, so it's like nice to have all my stuff somewhere where I can be productive elsewhere. But Yeah, I'm the same way. I'm way more productive in my studio than I am at home. Mm. Just 
being able to completely leave that space and go into a spot where you're like, I'm here to do music or work. It's, it's really nice. I still haven't really wrote anything <laughs> there. Yeah. I mean, we've practiced the songs that I've wrote at my house still. I still have a guitar at my house because that's where morning times I'm zipping around on my guitar and uh, writing songs. And then I bring them to the b-hole. <laughs> but yeah. You, do you want to do another one? Can we get another song? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let me think. I kind well, I was thinking about what I was going to play. One moment, please. <laughs> Gotta adjust that reverb. <laughs> Gotta adjust the reverb. Yeah, this is Dorito. This is another thing that happened to me is my buddy gave me this guitar. And I wanted to buy it after he'd given it to me because I played it. And I was like, wow, I like this guitar. And I was like, can I buy this? And he's like, no, I bought it for 30 bucks. And I was like, what? <laughs> so I got a free guitar and he's named Dorito. Um, he was picked up at a pawn shop where uh, he was covered in Dorito cheese. <laughs> and uh, I, I thought maybe it was a color thing. Like I was like, what Doritos like it, is Laura eating? <laughs> <laughs> I know they got all kinds of flavors out now, but I haven't seen that it one. It just used to be orange. <laughs> Yeah, it used to be orange. Now it's a little more of a cool ranch. <laughs> well, all right. Well, I'm going to play a song that's not necessarily even done yet, but it's a song in works. Sneak I think I could peak. do that. Yeah, Sneak Peek. Love it. Sneak Peek. Yeah. <laughs> Gorgeous. Um, this song is called, I do have a name for it. It's called Thin Ice. And it started, Pete just like sent me a groove. He's said, uh, just this chords D minor and G7 and then I was like I can I hear something in there and so I wrote the song so thanks Pete for the two chords thanks Pete so, thanks Pete and please when you watch this Pete if you watch this uh, send me like three more chords <laughs> <laughs> and I'll write another song <laughs> I haven't wrote a song for a while. I can't do it without Pete. No skin. <laughs> All right, how does this go again? fills the air We're all waiting on something that's already there But we're all here just walking on thin ice Just waiting on the season to change Waiting on the sea Waiting on the sea's on the 
change I like that one a lot. That oh. might be one of my favorite ones that, that I've heard you play. Thank you. I kind of, when the band plays, it's almost like a bossa nova. It's yeah. like, a, I want to submit it to an elevator company. Hey. I want to be that. in an elevator that actually has music. Yeah. yeah. I have an, there's an elevator in this building and it's so slow you could get a whole tune, I swear. <laughs> well, <laughs> I've got a song for you. <laughs> we, yeah, we can just shove a Bluetooth speaker up there and we'll just subject them to it. That's Pe- great. It, people will be here for it. I guarantee it. Or you could pay me hourly. I'll bring my battery operated amp and I'll just sit in there on a chair. <laughs> Love it. And then once people enter, I'll play the same song. Uh, that, Every time. It'll be a super premium elevator experience. Mm-hmm. Honestly. Extremely intimate. It's quite small. Hire me and I'll play in your elevator. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here, folks. <sighs> I'm looking for some gigs. <laughs> <laughs> gigs Something different. That'd be sweet. I mean, <laughs> that sounds fun. It'd be tight. Like, <laughs> tight fitting. Yeah. I don't know. I think I'm on to something. I think so, too. Will you guys help make this happen? Mm-hmm. I think we could make it happen at least once. I mean, maybe we could just record something in the elevator. I, I feel like elevators mm. are underutilized recording spaces. I have never even gauged them for their acoustic quality. Ooh. I'm just thinking you could almost like time it up to the beats when you get to a floor. Bing. What what What's your, your, your dream elevator location? Like if you could play in any elevator. <laughs> Well, I think I'm looking at it right here, you know. <laughs> that might be I've got my the connections. Favorite, yeah. I know the people. That might we be my favorite question. The secretary, are you the secretary of the building? Or uh, the treasurer? I am I am the secretary. I'm yeah. on the board here. Yeah. Um, See, you got I'm in it. I'm in. Yeah, but I, I also feel like we could just show up in an I think elevators are public pl- places, you know. Mm. I I would I would contest being kicked out of any elevator just for making a small recording inside of it. What if we do a Mankato elevator elevator series show? We certainly could. Just like pop up. Just sh- I feel like the we, you can at least get like forty seconds up and down in the Perfinium building. There's eight floors, you know. All right, let's go check out how long. No, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. Yeah, we got places to be today, you know. Yeah. Um, we got slow elevators too. Yeah, Laura's about to bike all the way out to St. Peter after this interview. I am. It's a little warm today, but. Uh, let's keep drinking water. What is like the, what is like the, the amount in your head, like miles wise where you're like, that's too far. I, I, I want to drive. Um, depends or, on the terrain. Depends how much uh, weight I have on my bike. Mm, but I guess how much time you have to. How much time uh, I've got. But you know, I like a good like 30, 40 mile day. That's fun. Okay. So like 20 miles there, 20 miles back. Yeah. It's pretty yeah. good. Is is that a you, you mentioned earlier that all the river rat stuff got canceled, but mm-hmm. it certainly has happened since then. Um, I I know you you've done a couple river rat things. What's mm-hmm. that been like? It's been fun. Um, we played a show at Key City Bike. We played with Be- Bularu, Lodi, and uh, Torrid Forest. Oh hey! And we're actually doing another show with them, and I think Onion Bun is going to be there in September. Cool. That one show it's that like a festival cool. oh, at somebody's house oh invite only <laughs> are you learning about this yeah i remember talking <laughs> you to know someone it's, about it's this. happening <laughs> yeah that's about how much i know about the show too <laughs> i'm ready to rip <laughs> yeah sure thing. Um, no, i feel like i feel like i heard a story about um y'all playing outside of a bar or something it maybe it was it, it might have been something you you yelled at me at the the cafe or no something. i think we've We've played. Um, we've definitely biked with our instruments. Mm-hmm. Uh, two summer go- two summers ago, we biked the Minnesota River, and uh, I carried my guitar with me. Bundy carried his bells and some shakers and a tambourine, <laughs> and we oh, were that. so tired that we maybe played a total of ten minutes on that seven day trip. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah, Dang. it was it was hot, and uh, it was just, it's like bike drink water 
and then you get to camp and you're just like get the tent set up so you can like get your food made and then you're like i don't want to play anything right now i just need to eat and go to bed <laughs> i don't want to play i don't have energy because of all these instruments i'm carrying around yeah that's like <laughs> river rats on strike river rats on strike no uh i think well there'll be some more shows popping up here this summer and fall with that but yeah but i'm actually biking to st peter i am involved with the pageant sing along oh, you guys heard of that yeah yeah to, to, uh Tugis puts that on right uh, yeah, and Anne. And Anne, yeah. Yep. What, what is it? I'm not even familiar. So it's a pageant sing along. They've been doing it for several years. This is the first year back after the whole thing. And uh, so the last one I was involved with was the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And I sang a song from there Science Fiction Double Feature. That's the song. Um, this year's theme is Midlife Crisis. And I'm going to be singing the song Changes. It's a, uh, I'm going to sing a version similar to Charles Bradley's version, but with a little Laura twist. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes because we've actually never rehearsed yet. This is the first night tonight that I'm going to do it. And that performance is in September mm. in St. Peter. I bet you guys will hear about it. Well, Probably. Absolutely. I mean, I might have to go find out about it. Yeah. Um, huh. Thanks, Joe. Yeah. That's probably why they haven't been at Wednesday. Yeah, that's why, that's why they uh, haven't been able to do Wednesday comedy open mic. Mm-hmm. Uh, Abby just started singing harmonies with them, so I've seen them quite a bit. Uh, oh, over the she's last doing week it? So. Yeah, yeah, she's, oh, she's going to do it. Oh, good. Cool, 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 cool. Sure. Um, well, are we going to get one more song out of this, or what do we got? Sure. Do we, do we have another one? Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, yeah, did we did we want to do some shout outs and then just fade out on the song? Well, we could. Um, we can do anything we want. We Willis isn't it. here. No Willis, no <laughs> rules. No Willis, no rules. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can play guitar. Um, everything. Um, well, you know, let's just let's let's do it and then cool because it's gonna go do do do. Doom, 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 and, oh, you know, let, yeah. let's let's do let's do the song and then the, the shouts. Did I forget to say anything? I think I said some things, right? Yeah, I said everything I need, needed to say. <laughs> we we got time to say more things. Yeah. No, I mean I, I think that's pretty much it. Album. We got the album. We got the past. We we didn't really talk about the future at all. Mm. Yeah, I did have actually. That's one a good thing, question. One thing we can. <laughs> are you still doing that project with uh, Mal and Krista? Uh, we, I have, we did a show, we did two shows, and, uh, maybe again, we, ha- maybe. Oh, yeah. It'd be fun. Started. It was, actually, yeah, that was, that, that's an experience, because I was bringing my banjo along to the shows, and I just am not that comfortable performing with it yet, yeah. so it was actually kind of terrifying, nice. and I don't remember half of the <laughs> show, because I almost, like, blacked out like i know exactly i remember the one at star color and it was it was cool i i didn't notice that you were uh i didn't notice anything about the banjo playing so it must have been good there we go tom krista's husband kept wanting to turn me up and i was like no (laughs) (laughs) i just want to be up here and Uh, look like i'm doing something uh but yeah it's fun the harmonies that those two do and it's uh the fiddle playing that krista does is awesome it's fun to play yeah, that sounds really fun. Yeah. And Mal just is like jumps in and she's like, Doo-doo-doo-doo-doo. she's good. Cool. I love it. Yeah. All right. That was my hidden edi- only hidden agenda. Hmm, I bet there's something else. <laughs> no, uh, no, I don't know. It's going to be a fun summer, though. I mean, we, we got some shows coming up. Where It'll and be when? Fun. Uh, well, the first one coming up would be at our favorite watering hole, the Wine Cafe. Same. We're playing 6 to 8, uh, Wednesday, July 6. That sounds about right. Not this Wednesday, but next Wednesday. That'll be one day before this comes out. Ooh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're now in the very recent past. <laughs> I, like, I like it. I like it. It's almost like you have control over something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, we're at the Wine Cafe, and uh, 
we're playing a show. Uh, we'll have some T-shirts and some CDs if you want to come buy some. Mm. That all goes towards Adam and our rent. What Do you have a new T-shirt design? <laughs> uh, we have a couple new shirts made by Kelly Bundy uh, and Eric Bundy. It's the Spaceman Fishing. Have you seen that one? No. I even thought about bringing them to show you guys. And then there's a butterfly whale shirt. Love it. But it's really cool. Kelly yeah. just won a tattoo artist yeah, we got of the year. She's so yes, we cool. Let's check yeah. that out. There's, Whoa. there's Kelly right she's there a, on Mankato Magazine. Yeah. Look how great she is. She's a b-ball believer. She's made us some patches, too, um, that have been really cool. We love all the Bundys here on Triple Falls. You should bring both Bundys in here. We could, Yeah, we could have Ooh. Bundy vision. The Bundy bundle. <gasps> you hear it? Yeah. Bun- <laughs> 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 they got a lot to say. I mean, it's not a bad idea. Couple of bundos. <laughs> All right. Uh, should we uh, get one more song and then uh, call her quits? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Beautiful. Well, let's, I was like, let's go. Yeah. I'll tell Just You got to come to the wine cafe tomorrow and hear when our other shows are. <laughs> right? I think I think they have to come they yesterday. Have to come yesterday. Oh. They have to come to your show yesterday at the <laughs> wine cafe. <laughs> it was good seeing you yesterday, <laughs> and I'm glad I got to tell you about all the shows that we have. Isn't that cool? Can you believe that one one we're doing? Oh my gosh! This is your intuition, the future. Uh, which song is this that you're going to play for us? Oh, um, this one doesn't have a name yet. This one's kind of a newer one. We'll call it a bird song <laughs> for now. Tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet. Yeah, I was taking my dogs outside, and uh, a bird flew above me, and I wrote this song. <laughs> was a little bird flying wild and free wish it was a little bird like the one in the sky up above me but I'm flying high right here in my mind but I'm flying high through the sands of time Caged in my mind Dressed pretty in the city Really thinking I am living Girl, you're paying for the stars That's not who you are Dressed pretty in the city Wish it was a little bird Flying wild and free Wish it was a little bird Like the one in the sky Up above me Flying high Right here in my mind But I'm flying high Right here in my mind Thank you so much, Laura Tweet, tweet Oh, tweet, wait, wait, wait. Tweet. I, there's another question. There's one more question. When do, when do we get the album? We didn't talk about mm. that. That was that. That's about. That's the future. <sighs> so what I told Tim and Shelley on at the pledge drive is, you know, it's gonna be done in the next year to ten years. <laughs> but <laughs> realistically, I am hoping it's done by this fall. Oh. And it's in people's hands. We're gonna have physical copies, and uh, it's gonna be online. On the interwebs. Heck yeah. Yeah. You heard it here second. Um. <laughs> but that's the hope. Uh, yeah. 
or yeah cool this year or next <laughs> well year. you know uh we're certainly looking forward to that, and uh, I really appreciate you coming on the show for the second time and uh, playing us some tunes and trying some new stuff here. Um, that was a bunch of fun. No Willis, no rules. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. Uh, we're clear. Yeah.